In this video we would like to demonstrate the calibration process for the Parsync Integrated PEMS or iPEMS device. During the calibration sequence a variety of calibration gases are utilized. Here we have multiple Parsync systems that are ready to be calibrated. The first step is to zero out the system. This is done by allowing ambient air to run through the Parsync in order to establish a baseline. The next step by the technician is to calibrate the gaseous sensor cartridge of the parsing. As you can see, there are different calibration gases that are used to set the span values for NO, NO2, CO and CO2. Calibration gases include carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide, nitrogen dioxide, as well as hydrocarbons. For particle mass and particle number calibration, the 3.x calibrator generator or cage is used. Once the gaseous calibration is complete, the technician moves on to the PM-PN sensor cartridge. This calibration is done utilizing the cage system. The sequence begins again with ambient air and then ambient air through a HEPA filter in order to filter out any particulates that may be in the ambient air. This establishes the baseline for the PM-PN calibration. The next sequence adds the particulate matter that we refer to as liquazost. It is at this time that we see four distinct peaks to determine consistency and size. Following this sequence, the liquazost is released again but this time through the HEPA filter. This allows for only the smallest of particles to be detected by the ionization sensor. As the calibration process finishes, ambient air and ambient air through the HEPA filter is cycled through once again to clear the parsing system of any residual particulates. The following screenshots demonstrate the repetitive capabilities that the calibrator generator or cage system allows us to achieve. With each screenshot you will notice that we are obtaining distinct peaks as we introduce different amounts of liquazost particulate calibration material. These screenshots were obtained over a one month period. Each show that these sensors have a very similar signature or unique emissions fingerprint. A distinct rooster tail pattern can be seen on the ionization sensor channel. These are the remaining ultrafine particulates which have passed through the high efficiency particulate arresting or HEPA filter sequence. This concludes our demonstration of the cage system. It is important to understand how critical it is to ensure that not only the gases of multiple field units are properly calibrated, but particulate sensors must also be calibrated to ensure efficacy and viability of a large-scale periodic technical inspection program.